Hi guys, Taufik here. In this video, let's try to solve one more real SQL interview problem. Now, this was a problem that was asked by one of the biggest IT services company in the world and it was shared to me by one of my subscribers in my email. Now, the reason that I have taken this problem is because the problem statement is actually pretty interesting, but the solution is actually very simple. Okay, now straight away, let's get into the problem and see how we can solve it. So the given problem statement is we need to find the distance traveled by each car per day. Suppose you have a car traveling certain distance and the data is presented as follows. That is on day one, the car traveled 50 kilometers on day two, it's mentioned like 100 kilometers and on day three, it's mentioned like 200 kilometers. Okay. Now the distance is a cumulative sum as in row two equal to kilometers traveled on day plus row one kilometers. So what they are basically telling us is the kilometers mentioned in the given data that you see here is basically the cumulative sum of kilometers, meaning that on day one, the car traveled 50 kilometers. That is fine. On day two, it's mentioned like the car traveled 100 kilometers, but this is a cumulative sum, meaning that this 100 kilometers also includes the kilometers traveled on all the previous days by that car. Okay. So in other words, we can tell that out of this 100 kilometers on day two, the 50 kilometers were actually traveled from day one that is carry forward from day one. Okay. And that is why this is called like a cumulative sum. Okay. And on day three, this 200 kilometers basically includes the kilometers traveled from day one and day two. Now the kilometers traveled on day one and day two, the cumulative sum of them is already present in day two. And in day three, it's basically include this 100 kilometers plus the additional 100 kilometers that the car actually traveled. So just by observing this data, if I had to tell the total number of kilometers that the car traveled on each day, I could say that 50 kilometers on day one and then another 50 kilometers on day two and then 100 kilometers on day three. Right. So I hope you understand what this cumulative sum means. Now, what they are asking from us to do is how should I get the table in the form of kilometers traveled by the car on a given day and not the total distance? So the given data is having the cumulative sum of distance for each day. Now we need to kind of split it so that we can write a query which is going to split this cumulative distance into separate distance traveled by each car for each day. Okay. Now in order to solve this problem, I have created an input table and I have loaded some sample data here. Okay. So my table is cars travels. And as you can see, I have data for three different cars. So I have information for car one for three different days. And this is basically the same data that was given here. Additionally, I have added some additional data for some other cars so that my solution would work for all different uh, scenarios. Okay. So for car two, I have information only for one day and it's mentioned like the distance traveled is zero. So the car did not actually travel anywhere for car three. I have information for four different days on day one. It traveled zero kilometers on day two. The car three traveled 50 kilometers on day three car did not travel any kilometers. So it's still staying at 50 and on day four, the car three drive traveled again 50 kilometers. The total cumulative sum is here mentioned as hundred. Now, whenever we have this kind of a requirement, let's try to understand what we need to do. So the distance given here is the cumulative distance. What we need to do is whenever we go to day one for a car, we can treat the cumulative distance to be the total distance traveled during that day. That is fine. But when we go to day two, what we need to do is we need to kind of subtract the distance that was traveled in the previous day, right? So the distance traveled by car one on day two is actually hundred minus the 50 that it traveled in the previous day, right? So the total distance traveled by car one on day two is actually 50, right? And similarly, when I go to day three for car one, it's mentioned the cumulative distance is 200, but I know that among this 200, 100 of them is actually coming from my previous day, right? So 200 minus 100 is actually the total distance traveled by car one on day three. Right. So how can I write an SQL query for this? So basically what I need to do is whenever I'm processing a record from SQL, I need to look at the cumulative distance from the previous record for that car. Right. So in other words, first of all, I need to do these calculations for each car separately. So this means that I need to partition the data based on each car. So that's one thing. Secondly, whenever I'm processing a record, I need to have access to the cumulative distance from the previous record for that car or in other words, from the previous day for that car. Now in SQL, we can easily do that by using the lag window function. So straight away, I'm going to solve this problem. So what I'll do is I'll add a new column here. So I have my cumulative distance here. So let's say I'm going to just mention that cumulative distance. So what I need is every time I'm processing a record, 
I need to subtract this cumulative distance with the distance that I got from my previous day, right? So, so imagine instead of processing the first record, let's say our SQL is currently processing the second record, okay? So in this case, cumulative distance of the current record is 100. I want to subtract it with the cumulative distance that I got from the previous day for that car, okay? How can I get this 50? By using the lag function. So I'm just going to say lag of cumulative distance that is this same column. So I'll just mention that, okay? And I need to use the over clause since it's a window function. And I need to partition the data based on each car. So partition by cars and then I need to sort the data based on each day, right? So I'm just going to say order by days. Okay. So I'm just going to move this to the next line, maybe this one here, just so that it becomes more clear and I'll move this over clause here. And this whole thing, I'm going to call it like the total distance traveled by the car per day. So I'm just going to call it like uh, distance traveled per day. Okay, so let me just run this and you can see that I am getting some data and if you look here, my second row here, it's telling the total distance traveled per day is 50, which is actually correct. That is 100 minus 50 is 50. And here for day three, it is 200 minus 100, that is 100, that is fine. Okay, so all of this is fine. But the very first record for each car here, it is printing like null. And the reason for that is lag will try to fetch the data from the previous record. But since this is the first record in my partition, there is no previous record, right? So if there is no previous record, whatever value that I get in cumulative distance, I should treat it to be my actual distance traveled, right? Now, in other words, I can handle that by adding the second and the third argument in my lag function. So in my lag function, the second argument is basically the offset value that is how many previous record I want to check. Now here I want to check one record previous to the current record. So I'll just mention one. Okay. And the second argument is basically in case there is no previous record, then what should be the default value? Okay. So in case there is no previous record, I want the default value to be set as zero. Okay. So what happens is when SQL is processing the very first record, so there is no previous record. So by default, it's going to return zero. Okay. So this cumulative distance that is 50 for the current record, that is what I'll get here. And this lag is going to return zero. 50 minus zero will still stay 50 and hopefully I'll get 50, okay? When I go to processing the second record, this cumulative distance here is going to be 100, okay? And this lag of cumulative distance from the previous record, it's going to return me 50, okay? 100 minus 50 is 50. So it should probably work for every single record, okay? Now let me run this. And here you can see that for car one, it's telling day one, it traveled 50 kilometers. For day two, it again traveled only 50 kilometers. For day three, it traveled only 100 kilometers, okay? When it comes to car two, it only has one day information and it did not travel any uh, kilometers. So it's still mentioning that the total distance traveled per day is zero, which is actually correct, okay? When I come to car three, you can see for day one, it did not travel any kilometers. So it's still mentioning zero, that is actually correct. When it comes to day two, it traveled 50 kilometers and here also it's mentioning 50, that is fine. When it comes to day three, the cumulative sum is still 50, meaning that on day three, the car did not travel any kilometer. The car three did not travel any kilometers. So here it is still printing zero, which is actually correct, okay? And finally for day four for car three, I can see that the cumulative sum is 100, but the total distance traveled is 100 minus 50, which is actually 50, okay? So if I had to just display the columns that I want, I can just tell cars, days, and the total distance traveled per day, right? So this is actually the output that I wanted for this particular problem, okay? I hope this problem is pretty clear and you understood the solution. It's a very simple one, but it can be uh, pretty frequently asked in interviews. I hope you understood this uh, problem and you found this video useful. The data sets, the SQL queries, and the scripts, and the problem statement, everything is going to be present in my blog. You can download it for free in my blog and you can uh, practice it on your own, okay? Thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one. Bye.